AITA for not nicely asking my husband to give back my credit card? My husband has been going through some hardship struggling to find a job. Therefore, I started paying for almost everything including his stuff. For the past two weeks he's been asking if he could purchase a designer belt set to wear at his brother's wedding next month. The belt set is expensive. It might not be for some people but given our financial situation it's expensive. I'll add the price if it won't offend anyone. Just saying. I declined to give him money to buy it and yesterday. I caught him sneaking my credit card into his jacket. I confronted him and demanded he give it back. He tried to stall saying I was being selfish for not considering his situation and the struggle he's been living with. I told him I don't approve of him taking it and that he needed to hand it over he refused. So I started lashing out calling what he did stealing and demanded he give the card back. He said he'd only give it back when I ask him nicely. For some reason, this pissed me off even more. I started yelling at him to give it back but he insisted that I ask nicely and apologize for raising my voice at him. I immediately contacted the bank and had it cancelled. Since it got cancelled I couldn't pay for our weekly groceries nor visit the pharmacy store to get my pain medication. I couldn't sleep at night due to pain and he told me it was my fault for going nuclear and for not asking him nicely to give the card back so I could use it to get few things done. We had an argument and he went to sleep on the couch. He's not speaking to me today and has been crying, financial abuse, all night last night as well as accusing me of verbal abuse. Edit. He's not getting the belt set with my money and I won't be paying for it no matter what. Just to let you know. NTA but the financial abuse is your husband whining about getting a designer belt when he can't even get a job. And after stealing your card for it and him verbally abusing you. You are still with him why? You pay all the bills. You don't need him. NTA. Your husband did not, nicely, steal your card. So why should you nicely ask for it back? He needs to double down on getting a job if he is this upset about buying some things. What about a part-time job while he looks for a better full-time job? Heck. No one will even remember what belt set he wore to the wedding. His behavior sounds ridiculous. I think you are great to cancel the card and it truly was stolen. Even though this cost you personally. Meaning your pain. You did it. He's correct. This is financial abuse. He is the perpetrator. Why even stay with him? You deserve so much better. NTA. Oh sweetie. NTA. I'm the breadwinner in my house at the moment and things are tight adjacent. Husband makes less and has more bills so I pick up all the slack. I say that to say. I get it. However. No way in hell would my husband attempt to steal from me. I need you to understand what happened. Your husband was willing and ready to steal your money in order to purchase something he didn't need and that you'd already said you weren't willing to pay for. When a relationship devolves to this level there are only two options. Immediate therapy. Avoid if husband is abusive. Or separation. Imagine finding out you had poison in your arm. You either aggressively treat or cut the whole thing off. In Ta, abusers often call their victims abusers get this man out of your life. NTA. Nicely ask someone to return something he stole? BS. Oh. Honey. I'd really appreciate it if you would pretty please give me back my credit card. He's trying to distract from his action by focusing on your response. NTA. You are not required to ask a thief nicely to return your property. Husband owes you a big apology. NTA. Claiming financial abuse is nonsense. He's unemployed and you're supporting him. And his response to that is to steal. Yes. Steal. The credit card and forcing you to go without medication. 
NTA. It's not financial abuse when you catch someone stealing and make them give it back. Ask nicely is something you say to a five-year-old. This can't be the first time he's done something like this? As described, this is extremely abusive behavior. At the very least, it's incredibly immature, socially and emotionally immature. You should seek therapy, talk to others about this and any similar behavior, and start making it known that you are experiencing this from him. People who know you personally can help clarify this sort of behavior. NTA there isn't a single thing here you did wrong. You are totally within reason and within your rights to say no to his ask for your personal money. To purchase extras during a financially strained season, you are completely justified in demanding your card back and not asking nicely for it. He didn't ask nicely to take it. Stay strong. Don't give in to his demands. Not even the little ones like, ask nicely, because it may very well escalate from there. And please seek help in your real life. If this is the first time this sort of behavior has happened and you've otherwise had a healthy marriage, it could be a sign of how he dysfunctionally handles stress in life. Everything still stands, but might be worth marriage counseling and encouraging him to seek individual therapy as well. NTA. If you were unable to pay for your bare necessities because he stole your card for a designer belt, then he should definitely realize he is in the wrong and give you an apology. NTA. He who smelled it, dealt it, except it's with your abusive husband gaslighting you about being financially abusive. Instead of the sole provider not wanting to be robbed. In ta. He was willing to steal money from you to buy an expensive accessory and then gaslight you when he got caught. Time to have a serious conversation because that is absolutely not okay. NTA. Look, the situation you're describing is just plain old abuse. He took your card without permission knowing that you had already said no to an unnecessary expense that he was not able to pay for himself. He then doubled down and demanded that you speak to him politely to get your card back. He stole from you and tried to make out like he was the bigger person. You have much larger problems than how you speak to your husband. Sure, there were options other than cancelling your card. I love that move by the way. But investigate if you can temporarily, lock, your card instead. But none of them were good. And the absolute worst was giving in to his demands. As the saying goes, we don't negotiate with terrorists. NTA. He told you to ask nicely after he stole from you when you have been supporting him. If there's any abuse going on here, it's him. Financially and verbally abusing you. A belt set for a wedding is a luxury he doesn't need if he isn't working. If he needs it that bad there must be some job he can get while he looks for one he wants. There's almost always work around if you're not fussy. The fact he wouldn't give it back. And was so patronizing is a massive location flag. Blaming you and calling you the abuser. Another location flag. Ah. You're NTA. And I hope that you can communicate that to your husband and get the apology you deserve. NTA. First off he does not need an expensive designer belt especially if money is tight RN. And he literally stole from you. And then you should ask nicely to get your card back that he tomb without permission? Hell no. NTA. Your husband, who is not working, stole your card. He expected you to suck it up while being forced to gift him with an expensive unnecessary item against your will you do not owe him an apology depending on the card you may be able to temporarily freeze it until it was back in your possession call me crazy but i think he's not so subtly abusive consider leaving him because it may escalate in ta you have a manipulative and borderline abusive husband NTA. 
You told him you couldn't afford the expense and he tried to do it anyway with your card. You caught him and he turned it around on you. Make sure you keep your new card where he can't access it. He is taking advantage of you. Stealing from you is financial abuse. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.